Hello, this is Isaac, and uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to use projection on the fly in ArcMap. Projection on the fly is a function of geographic coordinate systems in ArcGIS, and uh, the key concepts today will be projection on the fly, geographic coordinate systems, projected coordinate systems, the data frame, and data. Uh, so those will be the five keywords that I will be uh, talking about throughout the demonstration. So I'll start by um, opening ArcMap with a fresh window and then I will add two datasets from the same geodatabase and these datasets one will have a coordinate system defined and another one will have no coordinate system but they will be within the same geographic space and naturally we expect that this, these data sets will not align uh, because uh, ArcGIS does not project data on the fly if it has no coordinate system defined. So I've added a layer for uh, Uganda's administrative uh, district boundaries. I'm going to add another layer um, of points from collected from the field in Bududa, one of the districts in the eastern part of the country. And I would expect that these points will plot somewhere around here in the eastern part of the country. But as we speak, um, and as you can see, they are plotting outside Uganda, which is not correct. So it is simple because um, when we go to the properties of this data frame, you realize that um, the two layers are listed here and one doesn't have a coordinate system so it is shown as unknown and the other one has a coordinate system now this is seen under the coordinate system tab in the data frame properties dialog box one other thing you need to know about projection on the fly is that the first layer uh, or the first data set you load into uh, the table of contents um, will define the coordinate system for the data frame because by default the table of contents has uh, a data frame which is this yellow uh, icon over here and any other layer that will be added into uh, the table of contents in ArcMap will be projected on the fly to align with the data that you've added first. For as long as it has a coordinate system, at least a geographic coordinate system defined. So, let's, let's now look at our problem. The data is not aligning. You know that this is not one point as it is appearing, but rather uh, a cluster of points which are misplaced. So what we're going to do is to define a coordinate system for these points so that they can align with the map of Uganda and locate exactly where they should be as we expect it uh, to be. There are two ways uh, of assigning a coordinate system to this data. You can either go to our catalog and uh, open the properties dialog box of the layer directly from here and quickly choose uh, a coordinate system from here and assign um, that coordinate system to the uh, to the data set or you can go to um, arc, catalog, um, arc toolbox and open the define projection tool which also will bring for you a defined projection wizard and then you can use this wizard to assign um, a coordinate system to your data set um, like this. Okay, so after assigning a coordinate system to your data set, you define the coordinate system like that and you click OK, you expect this wizard to quickly run and apply that coordinate system and your data should immediately jump and locate in the right place. Okay, so I'll run the tool, we wait and see what happens. Okay, we get um, a notification that the tool has run successfully. 
and what happens is the data jumps right into the right location where it should be even though it is not projected we've only given it a geographic coordinate system which is based on uh, on a spheroid okay so then we have our data set um, aligning very perfectly with uh, the map of Uganda we can now zoom into these points and see how they appear on the map there they are we can then um, to clearly see uh, where they are, uh, have plotted we can add another map of administrative boundaries or administrative units smaller administrative units uh, for this district so that um, we can clearly see where these points are actually falling and that is Bududa district with the points on the eastern part of the district falling in two sub counties okay so the problem is solved we've seen how to assign a coordinate system to a data set and how the software uh, performs a projection on the fly on data that has at least a geographic coordinate system okay so that's how uh, project, uh, projection on the fly works I hope you've learned something